Welcome to the Z-Hut. Today, we're going to take a look at the flame sensor module. Now, this can be used to detect a flame, but another use for it, once I connect it together, I'll show you. You can also use it to detect infrared from a remote, so you could make a tester to test and see if your remotes are working. But uh, the main use for this is as a flame detector, and for our flame today, I just simply have a small lighter, and once we get it connected, we will use that as the flame and see how this works to detect it. So, to demonstrate it working, I've just put together a little circuit here, and on here I'll show you how this works and describe how it works, and then we'll discuss how you use it with the Arduino board itself. So, <clears throat> what we have here is there's four pins. Now, the first pin right here is the analog pin. You don't really need to use that. If you were just looking to do an analog read from one of these, um, just buy the, tran this is an infrared transistor. Some people call them infrared diodes. All you need is one of them and a resistor. It'd be less expensive than all this. Um, if you check my channel out, I do have a tutorial on there on how to make a your own flame sensor too. But next what we have is we have our ground, then we have our positive, our 5 volt in, and then we have our digital out pin, and that's what we are going to be dealing with is digital reading this. So alright, I have here, um, I put together on this board, I just have a 9 volt battery, it means we're going to be running this with 5 volts, I just have a 5 volt regulator set up here with two capacitors to filter it out make it a little smoother this is just an LED to tell us that the power is on and then what we'll do is when this detects a flame it'll turn this LED on so I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in turn the power on as you can see this LED is light lit up red that means we have power and let's see if it detects the flame look at that when it detects the flame the LED turns on. I'll do it again. And I'll also demonstrate, here is our that uh, remote control. I'll point it towards it. Oh, I suppose it would help if I had it pointed towards it, not at the base. As you can see, it blinks because this, when I'm holding the buttons down, it's sending out pulses of signals. So you could also use this to make a tester to test, you know, if your remote's working or if you need to replace the batteries or if it's just junk. Now this does have a sensitivity selection right here. I'm going to go ahead and turn the power off. Um, what this is, is it's a multi-turn resistor. And we use this, um, if you turn it counterclockwise, it gets less sensitive. So the flame is going to have to be closer in and more intense to be detected and if you turn it clockwise it will get more sensitive and if you turn it far enough your regular light um, ambient light from the room from your light bulbs or outdoors it will you can eventually turn it up high enough that it will signal it um There we go. You see, I turned it up high enough. Now, if I block the light, my video light above, it'll go out. So what you'd have to do is, if it's always on, turn it counterclockwise. Now, it only goes off and detects the flames. That is how the flame sensor works. To use it with your Arduino board is super simple. Just connect it to any of your digital or analog pins. Um, just connect, connect it to analog pin doesn't mean you're going to do an analog read, but your analog pins will also do digital reads. So just connect it to one of your Arduino pins, and in the program, just you know, have in the sketch if uh, digital read whatever pin um, you have it on goes high. That means it's detecting a flame, and then you could have this set off an alarm or whatever. Um, a very common application for this, I'll add before we wrap this up, is a lot of your newer furnaces will have these inside of them. 
and that's how they know when the pilot light goes out. So there you go. I hope you found this information useful. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. I'd appreciate it very much. So with that, um, I would like to thank you for joining us here today at the Z Hut. And remember to have fun building and playing with your Arduino.